So we are here to talk about the 2015 horror movie, The Harvesting. This one is directed by Ivan Kraljevic and stars Alina Caruso, Chris Connor and Jennifer Guerreris. I probably pronounced all those wrong, but there you go. So the story here basically is a slow burn horror film akin to the likes of The Wicker Man. Basically, it's a kind of strange summer solstice pagany type movie. And the story here mainly focuses on this small family as they head to a kind of rural retreat out in the country somewhere to get away from the hustle and bustle of city life and try and kind of repair the family, the kind of the, the family bonds that are seemingly a little stretched at the moment. We also have a kind of a, a B storyline that focuses on this kind of neighbouring Amish community and there has been some kind of massacre at the beginning of the movie and uh, we see the kind of the uh, the turmoil that it is causing between certain members of this kind of a, the Amish community basically and uh, that's pretty much run throughout the film as well. Now they are very kind of cleverly tied up together at the end. I was kind of thinking throughout these films are these kind of stories anything to do with each other? They are. And they are very kind of uh, tied up together in a very clever way towards the end of the film. But I won't kind of spoil what that actually is. And what are my thoughts on the harvesting? Like the biggest criticism I feel with this film is it is going to be a slow, slow burn. And it is a slow film. And I have to admit, uh, there are, for a certain part, I was kind of losing a little bit of interest because it doesn't, it didn't really seem to be progressing the plot very, very much. Um, I'm all for slow burns, in, you know, as long as they do kind of progress the plot. But this one does spin it with its wheels just a little bit. Now, this isn't a horror film in the sense of films like uh, The Conjuring or, you know, uh, that kind of thing, like Insidious, Saw. There's no real kind of, like, jump scares here. There's very little uh, what you'll see on-screen kind of supernatural um, happenings. There is a little bit, but not so much. And gore as well, not so much there as well. There was a little bit, particularly at the beginning of the movie, um, but it's it's a more of a, a kind of a, a mood piece. It's a character piece, but it does have a kind of a growing sense of tension as the kind of the movie progresses. And um, you know, there is a kind of a palpable feeling of kind of uneasiness when you're kind of watching this film because uh, this 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 kind of this Amish community are obviously hiding some of this some kind of like force that is in the woods and we don't quite know what's going on uh but there, obviously there is something happening there and it kind of takes you back to things like like i said the aforementioned wicker man i think the other kind of film that this is going to be compared to is probably children of the corn um and the subjects of the acting i have to say a little bit of a mixed bag uh the, the standout for me was the young girl here um who plays the kind of the youngest the youngest child basically and uh wow she was fantastic what a find and what i really liked about her performance is and she does get quite a lot of screen time but at the beginning of the movie she's very much like a kid she's very happy and kind of like uh you know very cute she kind of exudes cuteness but when she started to get under the influence of this kind of force man she had a scary well she really her, just her face and kind of the way she's delivering lines I thought she was absolutely fantastic. So a wonderful uh, performance from a child actor there. The two main leads, though, I feel were a little bit... They're not bad, I would say, but they are a little bit kind of pedestrian, uh, I, I, I would give it. And so they, they don't make particularly can kind of compelling leads. Um, like I said, it's not, it's not so bad, but because this film is quite a slow burn and there are not particularly charismatic leads it does falter because of that now um I, I will say that this film is one of these movies where it does leave it somewhat ambiguous so if that's not you're going to be your bag and you find those kind of things frustrating it doesn't tie up all the kind of the loose ends uh so that you have to fa factor that in and it is a kind of like a film where pretty much uh, the, 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 the plot is kind of wrapped up within the last kind of 15 minutes and pretty much everything you need to know is going to be within that kind of that, that final kind of 15 minutes. The rest of the film is more or less just a sort of kind of character piece. I thought it was quite good though. I thought it was a fairly kind of um, an interesting premise and it, it, it does have this kind of like this, 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 this overall sense of, of uh, a foreboding that is kind of in this particular rural area. You know, and the kind of the woods can be a kind of scary place. I like the kind of the photography here. 
and the kind of the the people who play the Amish people I think are all very good and uh, they, they seem both friendly and threatening at the kind of the same time so I'll give this a slightly above average review uh, I'll go 5.5 out of this one it's definitely a slow burn not going to be for um, you know your hardcore horror fans I would say but if you like a kind of like just a moody piece basically a kind of uh, somewhat of a, a creepy film then this might be the one for you have you seen it what do you think of it leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now mm -hmm.